Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 28th of 2023. Well, it is titled Ganymede from Juno. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the largest moon in the solar system, in fact, larger than the planet Mercury and the dwarf planet Pluto. So very large. Why is it not considered a planet itself if it's larger than Mercury? Well, a key thing for a planet is that a planet has to orbit our sun. And this object orbits our Jupiter and not our sun. So that makes it a moon by definition. However, it is the largest of the moons, much larger than our own moon around Earth. And we can see some of the structures on it here as we look at its surface. Now we see that it has a number of craters scattered across the surface. And you'll note that some of those craters are very bright and glowing in white and with large rays coming out of them. And that others are more subdued and kind of hidden into the other patterns. The very bright ones would be much more recent. These are recently formed craters that have excavated out the icy material within uh, Ganymede itself. So they're digging up some of that icy material and bringing fresh ice to the surface and spreading that out in rays during that massive impact. So that's one of the ways that we can see that a crater is younger. We do the same thing on our own moon. Those craters that have distinct ray patterns we know are relatively recent compared to the older craters. Now we can also see uh, a number of different types of other surface features, including some grooves and ridges scattered around this. And that is very interesting to study because it shows perhaps some signs of activity and means that Ganymede could in some ways be like Earth. Earth has plates of rock that shift around over the surface and we're familiar with those as plate tectonics that things that cause earthquakes and volcanic activity here on Earth. However, the same thing could be happening on the uh, moon Ganymede with the uh, ice plates. It could be plates of ice that are actually doing the same type of thing here. Now that still requires further study and to be able to better understand this process. But it's possible that it may have some kind of activity there, including the fact that we think there is an ocean down below the surface. Now without an atmosphere, it could not have an ocean on the surface as Earth does. There would be no pressure and not a high enough temperature to keep water liquid. However, below the surface, it is quite possible that there is water there. And in fact, it is likely that some of Jupiter's moons, such as Ganymede have more water on them than does the entire Earth. Could there be life there as well? Well, that is a good question. And something for future study could life exist down below the frozen icy surface of a place like Ganymede. Now this was studied by the Juno spacecraft, which passed by uh, Ganymede back in 2021, and was used as a gravity assist to affect its orbit and decrease its orbital period around Jupiter by 10 days. So this is often used uh, for spacecraft, it saves energy because we can then use the gravity of a moon or planet to adjust the trajectory and orbit of a craft without having to use significant amounts of additional fuel to do that, saving that fuel for more fine tuning and maneuvering. So here we get to see today Ganymede as seen from the Juno spacecraft back in 2021. So that was our picture of the day for November 28th of 2023. It was titled Ganymede from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.